What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. We're finally here with a new Kizuna Clash. Of course, this is a Super Boss Kizuna, so I'll have a separate video in regards to the upcoming Super Boss. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to talk about that. But let's talk about what we have at hand here. We have the generic 10-star difficulty boss. We've got three different teams and we have three different bosses to take on. And of course, you can go ahead and click along to the timestamps to see the, uh, the different teams that you want to see. So so there's going to be two teams for each variation that I did discuss in my video that I uploaded a couple of days ago as a Kazuna Clash preparation video. So the first team that we have here is going to be using Queen as the captain with the friend Captain Rayleigh Gaban. Rayleigh Gaban, really solid unit, allows you to get around the attack down that's inflicted on stage 3. So having them as the captain is a very good option. Queen, definitely replaceable with kind of just whatever you want, but you do need an attack booster on the team and they actually provide a pretty good boost. And also the fact that Queen is a super type character very easily activatable super type gives all of your deck's characters additional bonuses versus the quick enemies and then of course Robert and Jinbei they're just one of the best units in the game right now and Hiyori just those two units are so strong in this current a point in time due to the fact that this whole batch that they've been releasing have been cerebral focused as well as uh, being focused around decks and and int coloring so those two units just have great synergy and support with a lot of the characters that have been releasing which makes things a lot easier to build for if you have them Moving on to the second team, this is the other team that we were discussing in the video that I uploaded a couple of days ago. This is a very interesting one, um, using Vivi and Rebecca V2 as the captain. Not a unit that I use very often as the captain, and I was very concerned that I wasn't going to have enough damage when we reach the final stage, uh, when we reach stage 2, sorry, uh, the mini boss, because the mini bosses in Kizuna now actually have quite a lot of HP, and you do need to ensure that you have some type of damage increasing effect, or if you have the boosters, of course, it does make things easier due to those units having so much additional stats and also being super effective against all types does make things easier if you don't have them though <laughs> the amount of damage you'll be able to do on mini bosses is quite restrictive unless if you're launching a lot of specials so uh in this team here it is very tight in terms of the damage that we're able to output but we are lucky enough just to pip the enemy at the end which is awesome but then as, a, as long as we reach the last stage we do actually very solid damage you know you've got color affinity with chopper you've got chain boundary you've got the attack and orb boost from Vivi, a chain multiplicative buff, uh, you've got the Wano slots as well, you've got a super type activated thanks to the Hiori friend captain, actually pretty solid but as long as you can get through stage 2, that's the only real worry that I would have for many people out there testing this team on this stage. So now we're moving on to a one team versus all. Now this is definitely not my team. I cannot take credit for this one. This is a shout out to Stumpty Gacha, who was the original creator of this team. And while I don't know if it's the best team out there in terms of a one team versus all, it's something that I really wanted to try out because I, I was given this team by another individual and I wanted to try it out. And this team actually worked pretty well. So I want to showcase how the team actually functions and the really cool thing of using Queen because Queen has the really cool captain action effect that allows you to bypass defensive effects. 
which means that on some of those mini boss stages that have those really pesky effects like you'll see here versus the quick boss um, you don't actually have to worry about some of those defensive effects as the captain action deals with it for you also a special ability that can provide color affinity and end of turn damage as well as having the stussy on the team as well so you can get color affinity on multiple different stages with either the queen or the stussy special activated and Uta being having like a cerebral unit with good synergy with queen and the rest of the crew as well giving you attack and all boosts on every single stage makes the mini bosses very comfortable to clear which is something that I was concerned about with building a one team versus all but yeah Uta just works so well and then of course having the friend captain Bao Huang does make a very very big difference as well. Moving on now to the second boss, which is versus Sai, and the first team we're testing out is the one that I talked about in my prep video, using double Uta as our captain, and uh, Uta's just fantastic, and remember, there is one thing you do need to keep in mind with this quest, is as long as you have a character on your crew that has the ability to remove the special limit debuff, that is something you will have to take in mind, because of the fact that if you don't do that, then you're only restricted to using two specials, which restricts either your ability to clear the dungeon just straight up, or it restricts the amount of damage you're able to do against the boss, so be very, very cautious of that. In this team uh, composition, we do have Black Maria, who does have the potential ability of removing that, but obviously can replace it with kind of just whatever you want. We do have Perona on the team, but uh, it's not the best because she only really gets the effect of the conditional boost if you're at lower HP thresholds. So realistically, we could go ahead and switch out the ship for like the Moby Dick, for example, just to ensure that when we launch the special of of uh, Perona, we can actually get the conditional boost to activate. Also putting very good character and allowing us to remove the damage immunity on the final stage and we do so also have the uh the ivankov who allows us to remove the percent damage reduction and the resilience on stage two very important that you find ways around that otherwise you're going to be in a bit of trouble Moving on to our second team that we have versus the Psy boss, and this team does ridiculous amounts of damage. If you can, you know, go up against the Psy boss and you're able to abuse every effect of versus Kaido, you're probably in for a very good time because that unit is just absolutely absurd. But we're partnering that up with Yamato so that we can resist the bind that gets inflicted on stage 3, which is awesome. Once again, Ivankov making an appearance to help us remove the defensive effects on the enemy side of the field on stage 2. We are using Queen as well, and that allows us to do end of turn damage, which allows us to kill, kill stage 2 more comfortably. And we also have Clash Buggy. Clash Buggy does remove the damage nullification on stage 3. And then Capone. Treasure Map Capone does remove the paralysis that we're in inflicted with on stage three but of course with all of these different specials you are getting a lot of different buffs but remember when you launch kaido special that is going to remove all your beneficial effects you'll have his versus effect to get increased damage taken his attack and all boosting effect and then because he fully charges your crew specials once again you'll be able to use queen special to get a conditional boost against increased damage taken and a massive color affinity boost and then you can use obviously yamato for a chain boost you can use yamato as well for chain multiplicative buff and also get a super type on your entire team. This is a very, very strong team that should be able to take down this Kizuna boss for a very, very long time.
クの名はヤマトカイドウの息子だAnd once again, here we have the one team versus all, uh, and we're going to be going ahead and just uh, absolutely demolishing this stage once again, but of course there is the resilience on stage 2 this time, comparatively to the previous boss which did not have that. So this time around we are going to be using the Queen special on stage 2, which means that we will have to use the Stussy special on stage 3 for our team's color affinity boost, but of course, you know, with Queen activating his special, he does very good end of turn damage, so we really don't have to worry about that at all. We are going to have the these Wano slots as well. We have the Uta attack and orb boost, so the damage on the mini boss stages are really not going to be that close. Like we, we we feel pretty comfortable taking these guys down, especially because Bao Huang is going to be super effective against all types. So even without type advantage, having that friend captain that is capable of doing that is pretty massive actually, and makes a big difference in terms of having a greater success in in this quest. And then of course when we reach the last stage, Bao Huang is the friend captain allowing us to remove damage nullification. Very important that you have a character that can do that. And of course, we can just activate the rest of our specials and pick up the dub. Moving on to the last boss, which is going to be versus Dex, and we're using Cat Dog as our captain, and actually worked out relatively well. I definitely did screw up a little bit in terms of which specials are activated. Um, you'll see that on stage two, we end up using a Cat Dog special, but what you'd want to do is is activate the Friend Captain Dog Cat instead of your own, so that when you reach the final stage, the Friend Captain is actually binded. So you that you'd want to use your own Cat Dog special because this means that when we use the uh, the special ability of Koala, which allows us to unbind the characters on our crew, we're actually going to receive Koala's attack boost rather than Cat Dog's attack boost, which isn't that much of a difference, but it is a little bit of a difference, and it's just something that you may want to keep in mind. Just everything that the captains do, just do them in reverse, so that the friend captain is using the special on stage two instead. And then Stussy, of course, allowing us to get rid of the debuffs on stage two. We do have Dofi and Treble, which does allow us to get a bit more comfortability versus Reiju here, as we can switch into Treble to get type advantage on this stage, along with the Hiyori, clearing it very, very easily. Uh, but of course, the only reason why they are here is because of the chain locking effect that they can provide. So this is just like, it's just like a free to play unit for that position, but you could replace it with basically whatever you want. If you have uh, any other unit that can give you like a chain boundary or a higher chain boosting effect, that might be a better option. Next team we're having a look at here is going to be with KDAD, and uh, it's been a while since I've actually had the uh, opportunity to use KDAD, so I felt, you know, really excited actually to, to use this character again. And this this seems like pretty solid, like it's not like the best team ever, but it's 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 relatively okay. Um, so 
what we can do is, is when we reach stage 2, we have the Kawamatsu, which gets rid of all the debuffs on that stage, and then we can use the Odin special and then the Kaidad special to get the 3-turn massive attack and orb boosting effect and the full board of Wano slots, so that when we reach the final stage, we're still going to have attack and orb boost. We have the Sweet Commanders, which provide us with a Color Affinity boost and a Chain Activating boost, and that's pretty much it. And of course, the fact that Kaidad have access to a very powerful final tap, you can tap with one of the... Uh, Kdads, which activates their effect. If they tap with a Wano slot, they will actually inflict a resistance down to the enemy. You know, you hit all your perfects with the rest of your team, final tap with your other Kdad, you get like essentially a Luffy crew style final tap with this team. So yeah, this team will actually last a relatively good amount of time, I think, versus this, this boss right here. Very, very fun team to use for sure. And then we have a look at the final team once again, the one team versus all making an appearance again. And uh, very, very important that you save the Hiyori special for the final stage. I actually did do a run through before this clip and I did fail because I used the Hiyori special on stage two to lock the Wano slots to carry them into the final room. But it's actually really annoying. Uh, you actually have to save the Hiyori special for the final stage because you are inflicted with bind. Completely overlooked that, uh, which means that you, know, you save Hiyori for the final stage is not gonna be an issue. You do see that when you reach level 31 and above, there is an interrupt. If you activate any slot changing effect, you get a full board of super block slots, but it actually won't matter because you have a full board of Wano slots. The enemy cannot change your crew's Wano slots away. So, you know, you don't actually have to worry about the interrupt that does occur if you use a slot changing special, so long as the slots you're changing to are going to be like Semla, Super Bomb, Wano, Rainbow Slots, etc. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm that, guys. I'll see you guys within the next video. <laughs> Hey! <laughs>